as an expert in your space, it's important to start off the conversation with a bang. And that starts with your title, also known as a title tag. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So there are a lot of geeky elements when you talk about search engine optimization. I'm gonna cover one topic today that will make a huge difference in your findability. It's called the title tag. The title tag, think of it like um, a title of a book or a title of a video. It's a very important indication of what is that page or video about. So when we're talking about titles, we always wanna make sure that we're writing these titles, not only so that it looks great in search results, but also that it has a keyword phrase in there for findability. So let me walk you through an example of what a title tag would look like. Let's take a look at a title tag and how to really craft one, not only for user experience, but for findability. So what you're seeing here is I'm gonna search for one of our clients called Kay Francis. She is a motivational stress management speaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and Google Kay Francis. Now, Kay has an interesting issue where there was a screen star from the 1920s and her name was also Kay Francis. So over time, we've had to slowly optimize her content, her photos, her title tag to make sure that it ranks under here. Now we're finally making some progress. So you'll see here on my screen that we've got Kay Francis on Wikipedia and number two is my client Kay Francis. Finally, it's taken over a year to finally get her at the top and not the dead uh, 1920 screen star that you'll see on the right hand side here. Now, as I scroll, now what you'll see here is that we wanna make sure that we have a nice beefy title tag. Ooh, I'm so excited because look at this one. All of her, do you see here? These are, are her videos now. So we've been slowly pushing the dead K Francis off the page so that the live K Francis motivational speaker. Now take a look at her title tags. These are the titles of her videos. So just like a title tag in a website, you have a title for a video and a title for a blog. Very important. Now what you'll notice about Kay's titles is that we've baked in a keyword. Here you'll see Kay Francis, funny motivational speaker, Kay Francis. Then you'll see stress management speaker. So we wanna make sure that we're getting the keyword into the title tag. Now, I don't, guys, I don't know if you remember from the 80s, but there's a thing called a mullet. Do you guys remember that? <laughs> Business in the front, party in the back. If you Google it, it's really very entertaining. But a mullet I like to think about is because you wanna get the keyword at the front and then you're, you can say anything you want on the back. Now what happens is, is by following business in the front, that's where you have the keyword like Kay has here, stress management, and then party in the back is anything you wanna say. So maybe an example might be stress management colon, a speaker with real world outcomes to reduce stress. Now, real world outcomes to reduce stress is not findable, but stress management colon real world examples on how to reduce stress, that's perfect because we have the keyword, remember, the business in the front, and then we have a colon or a pipe, and then we have our creative party in the back. So remember that when you're writing title tags, keyword first, creativity second. Let's take a look at how we can use titles in other ways. So right now I'm showing you the screen capture for K. Now we've gone ahead and looked at her videos, but let's go over and see what's a title tag for an image. Remember that Google Images is the number two way people search on Google. We love pretty pictures. You'll see here that we still have Kay Francis is still owning this page. However, we're starting to get, ooh, we got two in here now. This has been incredibly difficult to bump her off because she has all of this content and we're trying to get Kay, the, the live Kay Francis in here. So what you'll see is I'm gonna speak, just click on this. Now this is a picture from a, the speaker agency. This is like a speaker's bureau. Now what you'll see here is that we've got her name first. The reason this image ranks here is because her name is right in the title of the image. Now let's go down here. Here's another one of K. This is from Cap City Speakers. And again, you'll see it shows up because her name is right there in the title of that image. Also called the alt text or A-L-T text. Now when you go into a WordPress website, 
that it's really, really easy to go in and adjust a title tag. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to take you in to the back of my website. Now, if I have a WordPress website, so it's not going to look the same if you have a Wix website or a Squarespace or something that is, um, that is proprietary. You're not going to get that. So I put these captures on my thing thinking that would really be a really good idea. But then again, I don't really do math. <laughs> and I put a math captcha on here. So good job. Okay, let's make sure I can get that one. That was an easy one, thank goodness. <laughs> So when you come into a page in your website, there's going to be certain elements that you're going to want to look for. So just open up any page in your website. I'm just going to go to all pages. And I'm going to go into here. This is one of my latest blog posts. I'm going to hit edit. Right as you come into the page, you'll see it says customer journey map. I can do better than that. Even as a teacher, I can always improve. So we have customer journey map. I actually got like a ridiculous amount of search volume. It was like 380 searches a month. That's a lot over the course of a year. So I definitely wanted to optimize my page about with that phrase. If I'd optimized it for Candyland map, like that was my inspiration, but it's not how people are searching. So if I just put Candyland map in there, no one would find it because I'm just talking to myself. But if I put in customer journey map, then I'm able to actually get it in front of people who don't might know my material, but should. Now, let's make this a mullet title. So customer journey map, I'm gonna put a colon, I'm gonna put how to speak to every customer quickly and easily. So what I want you to see is that I added the party in the back, remember? Business in the front, party in the back is customer journey map, colon, pipe, dash, just a visual separator, and then how to speak to every customer quickly and easily. Then I'm just gonna hit update. Now, when Google comes back and indexes that page, I have a beautiful clickable title. And it's got the keyword in it, and it also has a little bit of interesting fun. Because SEO can be really boring. If it's just about inserting the keyword, that's not very interesting. So the mullet title helps you to not only stay focused on the keyword, but then also to make sure that it, 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 it packs a punch, right? It, it, it teases them in. I call it romancing the click. You want to romance the click in that you're going to put the keyword first, but then you're going to really write something that makes them want to click. So title tags, very important. Google loves a title tag. Make sure to get the keyword in there. Tell Google right out of the gate, this is what you are, and then dazzle the searcher and elicit that click by writing something really captivating and creative. Man, I love this SEO stuff. And if you're enjoying learning all these little tidbits about how to become the most findable business online, make sure to hit the bell below so that you're notified every time I release a new daily video, as well as make sure to subscribe because I am committed to making you the most findable business online.